Well, okay, YouTube friends, so you can see my little setup here. It's a Nova Comet 2 uh, MIDI lathe. So I got some uh, maple blanks. So they start off with, you know, just slab of maple, right? And I kind of, most of them are kind of chainsawed into blanks like this one. And then I just mark them with a simple circle gauge. Throw them on my little bandsaw, get them a little closer to round. So I got several of these I want to knock out. Um, something I started doing once the kids got into school um, is I like to make a bowl for each one of their teachers every year. And we usually do it at first conference. Um, just as a thank you, I might be a little partial there because that's what my wife does is she's a teacher and I just want to show them appreciation because I know what it's like to deal with my kids and I just can't imagine dealing with a whole room full of people's kids so just something a little nice to do and uh, before someone feels overwhelmed to have to leave a comment I'm sure according to you I'm doing something wrong I'm sure there's stuff that I could do better more correctly whatever self-taught with this this has worked for me i've made hundreds of bowls on this lathe no one's ever complained about one so if you don't like the way i do it then just move on so let's get let's get to going here using a circle carbide here got that rounded off now I'm gonna work on making my tenon so this will give me an idea how big I need to make that so I just make a little mark and get the pencil up in there then I can turn it on check it with this I know I need to go on inside of that I need to go inside of that line there that's set to my uh, tool there so now we're gonna work this down a little some of that out we'll switch up to some more scraping type action
you know we'll give it a quick inspection no huge major tear outs on it we'll back this off I love this the fact that it's reversible so we'll kick it the other way go low on the speed and you have seen this sander before uses as a sander technically it's just a buffer uh, didn't realize that was all spent we'll get a fresh bit of come on where's it say it well that's 80 we'll just go right at 120 one thing I found with this stuff is this 120 sanding like this gets it a lot smoother than you would think way way smoother than uh, 120 normally would so now we use power sander Now we'll take a little look. Yeah, I'll bump up and grit in a minute, but I want to make sure, you know, some of this maple with the different green, there's a little rough spot there. Rest of it seems a little, it seems fairly smooth. So I'll take my pencil here, find that rough spot. I just pencil it up a little bit. And then I look for the color to go away and I know I've sanded all the way down. You know, I try and get that pencil down into the crevices. Now we'll take a little look, feel. So that smoothed that off nicely. Let me uh, try and bring you guys in here. Oh. So we'll get that. Now, we will bump up some grit. sure this is still good and snug tighten it down we'll go reverse
Now we're just getting uh, this back side here. We'll take this tenon off before we're done, but. We'll get that. So that's the outside all sanded up. It's all done. So now we'll get her flipped around. lock on spin that on tighten it down like to add just a touch of tension to that right in the previous center hole. Then we can tighten this down. And we'll give it a spin. We're seeing a nice even bite. Snug it down. Personally, I like to start with the tailstock still in as I start hogging out the center of this bowl. So we'll go back forward and start nice and slow. Got no wobble with it. Get the speed up. Now we just start hogging the middle out. Before I hog it out, I like to just kind of take that off because that brought it all into balance now. And I know I'm getting lots of catches on this, but I got lots of material to hog out, so I'm really not worried about it. I'll start being more cautious and more careful as I get down towards the bottom of it.
And I'll scrape her down. Hog some more material. I'm gonna clean this lip up. I, I have this lip more or less the thickness I want, so I wanna round it over. And I know I'm kind of blocking the camera here, but man, I don't have a big shot. You know, walls right here. So, not sure where else I could put the camera, but uh, do my best here. But, Getting close ish, so it's time to get this tail stock out of the way. So that's the bowl right there, all finished, all shined up. There we go, so no need to show you the other bowl. Um, I actually got this one all finished in this video. So that's it right there. That's both bowls done for both the girls' teachers. So. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more.